Hi, I'm Pimp Illy, but you could just call me Illy, and this is an explanation of my Diane cosplay. The intention's pretty obvious. I intended to make a cosplay of my favorite character, Diane, from Seven Deadly Sins, and I did it, and I'm very proud of it, so now we're gonna talk about it. I love the character Diane from the anime Seven Deadly Sins because she was a giant and I love giants. I'm 5 foot 10, that's relatively tall for a woman. Actually, it's relatively tall for a person, so I resonate with a lot of strong female characters or tall female characters in shows and TV shows. So when she was introduced into this anime while I was watching it, I instantly loved her. Plus. She's just a baddie, like she's great. Like she's strong, she can bend earth. She's like a giant, she's super extra. Let's get into it. First, finding the materials. Okay, so one thing that really annoys me is when I see a cosplay and they're all using that like shiny polyester, like plasticky material. I knew that sh the orange that the animators were creating was supposed to be more of like a wooly orange so I was looking for more of that brown texture material and I found like a really nice suede fabric that also matched the color of the shoes that I already had that was going to be worn um, so that was very successful in that but I found this blue material that I knew would be perfect for her gauntlet um, and I got stuffing for it as well and then I already had white fabric for the inside of the collar but I knew the collar was gonna be small so I wasn't really too worried about it anyways okay then we pattern draft, then we cut, then we sew, then we wear. The bodysuit, um, I had already done similar bodysuits to my frame before that I knew that I would have wanted to alter to fit better. So I used an old pattern and I kept just adjusting it so I can get the tailoring to fit me just right. The fit came out really good, look how cute. Like, <laughs> Now for the props. So I've never made a prop before. I predominantly make wearable clothing and the costumes I've made in the past did not need props. So this was my first time getting to experiment with something new. I decided to watch a bunch of other YouTube videos on creating props. Uh, the one I liked was yoga cosplay. It's like right here, I tagged him right here because give him props. He had a printable patterns that you could like download and cut out. So I downloaded it, printed it, cut it out and it made my life a lot easier. The other hard part was finding the materials. You're supposed to use a certain type of like flexible but sturdy material for prop making, but I couldn't find it. So they said that you could use cardboard, but I don't think they were correct. I ended up finding poster board and it was a lot sturdier. So it wasn't doing all the things that I needed it to do, but it was sufficient enough to like put together. And then I used hot glue and E6000 glue to kind of get everything to glue together. But even that was a little bit tricky. It was, it was a mess, but I eventually came together. After having the foundation built, I was able to start painting and painting's my favorite part. So I painted all the pieces, but then I ran into the issue that the hammerhead would not stay on the pole. Like every time I swung it, it was just too heavy. And I realized it's because I used this thick pole that had no inside foundation. So I ended up breaking two of my brooms. I had two brooms and I broke both of them and I put it on the inside to create this like inside structure to keep it together. And then I hot glued the inside to the pole just to like keep it all together. I don't know, it was a lot of trial and error, but it's my first prop. So I think I still did a pretty good job. It's funny, like now I know how to keep it together so I can like fix it. But like when I was doing some fun park videos, like I broke it again, but it's okay, I'll fix it again. Making the gauntlet. So first I made the inside and the outside and I left, I stitched it together, but I stitched it leaving little holes in between for my fingers and my thumbs. And I didn't stitch the inside closed. Then I took my stuffing and I stuffed it on the inside of the gauntlet to give it that puffy effect. Then I took a piece of elastic and put it around the edge so it gathered on my wrist and stayed on when I slid it on and slid my fingers through. And then I E6000 glued stones onto it to give it that stony look. Hot glue will not work with these materials. It will just slip and slide. But the E6000 glue, just let it sit for a second and it does okay. I think there's a better way or a better material to make this if I were to try again. But I, I think it still was sufficient. The so boom, it's finished. I just did my hair. I was wearing tights to make it more appropriate in the final images. So I couldn't draw her tattoo on my thigh because it would have smudged with the eyeliner that I used. So instead I always drew it on my face, which I think is just as cute. 
and then that's it that's the entire cosplay and i think i killed it i think i like it tell me if you like it my friend imani was able to come over dressed as elizabeth because she already had the costume and we photoshopping her just made me look even more like a giant shout out to renee for doing the photography on this project very very grateful but I just love how the photos came out. I love how the costume came out. I think it's so cute that Imani was able to be little Elizabeth and it was just lots of fun. Now I have a cosplay to wear to AnimeCon. <laughs> Let's wrap it up with some gratefulness. One, I am very grateful that even though it took a couple of months and I had to move and pack and unpack and all that other stuff, I still got the cosplay finished. The second thing I'm grateful for is Renee and Imani for helping me bring these pictures to life and really making me look like the giants that I feel like I am. Three, the last thing I'm grateful for is my hammer. Making props is actually so much fun. I think I'm gonna continue to try to learn how to make props and kind of get into that a little bit. Maybe it'll be like a backup hobby. I don't know, but I'm very grateful for my hammer. I think it's really cool. And I think I wanna make more props in the future. If you watch this whole video, thank you so much. Go ahead and like, hit the like button, comment something cool, subscribe if you want to. But I do appreciate you guys watching the whole thing. I hope you enjoyed this project and I can't wait to show you more projects in the future. Look how cool my shirt is. It's a black top from Avatar Last Airbender. So cool.